Hi everybody, I'm Glenn Deemer, and welcome to This Week in College Football History. We go back just six years to November 12, 2005, as fifth-ranked LSU plays at undefeated and third-ranked Alabama. This is not only a top-five matchup, the game also features 2005 Campbell Trophy winner Rudy Niswanger lining up for the Tigers, while 2005 NFF National Scholar Athlete D'Amico Ryans, who was also a co-captain, takes the field for the Crimson Tide. The atmosphere is electric at Alabama for this SEC showdown. Mike Shula, the head coach for the Tide, Les Miles in his first season at LSU. Bama is the first to generate some offense. Kenneth Darby on the draw. He'll make a nice cut and pick up more than 20 yards down to the LSU 45-yard line. The Tiger defense stiffens and Jamie Christensen comes in for the 28-yard field goal and the Tide take the 3-0 lead after one quarter. Early in the second, it's quarterback Brody Croyle. He finds LaRon McLean out of the backfield and McLean does the rest, keeping the legs churning for the extra yards down to the 22-yard line. The 84-yard drive is capped off with a Croyle to D.J. Hall touchdown and the Tide now lead 10-0. That was the score at halftime. On to the second half, and LSU finds its offense. Jamarcus Russell swings it out to Justin Vincent, who does a great job of picking up 25 yards down to the 37. Inside the five, it's Russell on the quarterback draw, but he has stopped at the one, and it's now fourth down. Miles goes for it on fourth and goal, and the O-line makes a big push, and Vincent scores, and the Tigers narrow the Alabama lead to 10 to seven. Next possession, and LSU continues to put on the pressure, Russell to Dwayne Bow, 16-yard gain. The drive stalls and Chris Jackson comes in. He nails the 42-yard field goal and now it's all tied at 10 after three quarters. The defenses dig in in the fourth quarter. Neither offense could get anything going. And with less than a minute to play, Jackson from the 49-yard line with a shot to win it for LSU. It's no good and this one's going to overtime. Alabama has the ball first and takes the lead on a 34-yard Christensen field goal. Then on the Tigers' possession, Russell is looking for the end zone, and he fires a strike to Bow for the touchdown. LSU wins in dramatic fashion, the final 16-13 in overtime. LSU would go on to win the SEC West and play in the conference title game, then later in the Peach Bowl. Alabama did not recover from this tough loss, also losing to Auburn in the next game. The Tide would then go on to play in the Cotton Bowl. But it was a big win for LSU on this day, November 12, 2005. I'm Glenn Deemer, and thanks for watching This Week in College Football History, brought to you by the National Football Foundation.